If there's something that anyone who's chronically online misunderstands, it's women. So in my brave pursuit of understanding them better, I set out to answer one simple question. Why do girls always like playing support? But some of you have been I complaining that too. about the misogyny on this channel, so I'd like to bring on and interview a real life woman to discover the truth. A real life w woman? Those exist? Hello? Hello? Hey, uh, I just got a question for you for this video. Okay. Uh, take all the time you need to answer this. I just want to know, why does it seem that women always play support in online games? Mm, well, I think it's because a lot of women... I was so hoping she would just disconnect. I was so hoping she just would have disconnected. I would have done that. Comedic timing, man. Women aren't funny, you see this? Women aren't funny. It's funny. All right, I've heard it. It's clear that this was going to be a lot harder than I thought. Before we get to You see this? He left. What did I tell you? Comedic timing. <laughs> so, why does it seem that women always play support in online games? Mm, well, I think it's because a lot of women All right, I've heard enough. It's clear that this was going to be a lot harder than I thought. Before we get to the truth of this complex question, let's just go over what you're all thinking. Now, uh -huh. I know this subject can be kind of touchy, so uh -huh, to avoid uh -huh, any uh -huh. confusion, this obviously doesn't apply to every woman and everyone that plays support. Support is known for two things. One Yo, being the so role that no one wants to queue for, and two, it's <laughs> also considered to be the easiest role in existence. Now, I'll leave that all up to you to argue about in the comments, but what we can all agree on is the fact that you'll see more girl characters I might hate to say this, but <laughs> support isn't the easiest role to play. That one female gram was there any no TP in my friend loss. I guess I'll play combo. <laughs> Yo, Sam, what's up? I play support most of the time, to be honest. I don't think support is the easiest role. Like, also, it depends on what game we're speaking about, right? Like, like in MMOs, DPS 100% the easiest. 100% DPS is the easiest in MMOs. In League, depends on which champion really, but also it's not as simple as just press heal, right? or cute skins and support roles. There are <gasps> no, no, games I mean, skins. that keep the Nami skin is showing. pretty even. Like, oh. My fucking eagle is showing. I see Nami skin, I go like, yee! <laughs> <laughs> but what we can all agree on is the fact that you'll see more girl characters or cute skins in support roles. There are games that keep the male to female ratio pretty even, like Overwatch, where six out of the ten supports are female. I love Kiriko. God damn it. <laughs> but she's a fox. She's a support character. What? Like, how do I not like? How can I not love her? But in games like League of Legends, 24 <laughs> out of the current 36 supports are female. Just to get some Oops, sorry. more stats, I thought it would be fun to contact some weebs who play Genshin Impact. And then I discovered that I got no idea about Genshin. out of the 30 or so support characters. I mean, most of overall Genshin characters are female, so I don't know if that's a metric we should go by right here. Characters are girls, although that one's not really fair because most of the characters look like girls anyways. Why does this matter? Well, it makes sense to assume that women might want to play as something that they identify with more easily. But in an effort to back this up, I found one of the very few studies done on this very question. Researchers found that girls are more likely oh. to play characters they can identify with. However, with older women, it really just came down to picking whatever was most aesthetically pleasing to them. While this is interesting by itself, this wasn't enough. I needed to do something a bit more drastic instead of just looking at one nerdy research paper. The next okay. step to find our answer was doing something that only the most courageous of men can do. It was time to go straight to the source, real life women. <laughs> to do this was pretty no. simple. I just put out a tweet into the void that said, no. genuine question for any not. woman reading this. 
why does it seem that girls are more commonly seen playing support roles in online games? Thinking this would only get a few replies, I was pretty shocked when it ended up being over 700 Holy explanations shit. from so many different people. And I'm not gonna lie, this ended up being a lot of reading. So I took all of the answers and condensed them into the three most common and repeated points. The first reason a lot of women talked about is that they picked the support role to escape the toxicity of their teammates which okay, they experience more fair. often if they played something like tank or DPS. You literally get no dick, bro. Bro, Omen, oh. I just want you to know you're a shitty human. You're mad yeah. selfish, bro. Like, you're dragging us in here because you're stupid your life. We just want <laughs> I hate how true this is, though. Valorant? Like... I don't know. Like, oh, for you Americans in here, and also for the Europeans to see the other side of this, right? Valorant in America is way different than Valorant in Europe. It is night and day. While on an A, there's constantly some uvu, cutesy, and deep voiced people, like just being fucking uh, showing fanboys and whatnot online at, in an A. In EU, it's just toxicity. They just tell you to, like, go game end yourself. They go tell you to go make a sandwich. <laughs> they tell you you belong in the kitchen. <laughs> it's the funniest shit ever. And they're always so fucking unoriginal as well in Valor, man. It is so unoriginal. Like, at least come up with something good, man. Cut lobbies broke the millennials. <laughs> I never was in a cot lobby. Never played cot. Oh god, like kill yourself. Go back is. to the kitchen. Seriously, where you belong? Make me a sandwich, you fat bitch. <laughs> Seriously, go hit the treadmill. See? It, it's always the same! Like, oh my god. It is so NPC behavior. They're all just NPCs, man. Literally unloved by everyone. <laughs> and before you comment something like, oh, welcome to the internet, I want to point out that while trash talk, of course, is pretty regular, the toxicity mentioned could be a bit different than what's usually expected. To put it more simply, this is the difference between we lost because our jungler is a bronze moron. At least they could be funny about it, just all the same as me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying! Be fucking original about it! Like, tell me something I haven't heard a million times yet, you know? Trash talk, of course, is pretty regular. The toxicity mentioned could be a bit different than what's usually expected. To put it more simply, this is the difference between we lost because our jungler is a bronze moron and we lost because our jungler is a woman. Women <laughs> watching this, please ignore that. Oh my god, I'm gonna out myself. I'm gonna out myself right now. I used to be so toxic in League. I used to be so fucking toxic in League, right? That, that's years back. That is years and years and years back, right? I got Poma banned for it, and I, uh, and, uh no, kids didn't do it, <laughs> no, don't, don't worry, it's just me hating women, it's just me hating women. <laughs> You're going full German. You can get banned in mobile games, yeah, like, five, six, seven years ago you could. I regretted it. I regretted it so hard, like, I... Didn't I was so stupid? I didn't know saying KYS could get you bad. <laughs> because I was like, well, well, I don't actually mean it, you know. So why would that get me banned? I just video game, the, 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 the ooga booga brain. <laughs> well, I stopped using KYS since then because I realized, wait, that's kind of toxic. <laughs> <laughs> we're hashtag reformed, everyone. Yes, 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 yes we're reformed, exactly. <laughs> Yo, Kago, what's up? Yo, Neko, I came in on hating women. Yep, they arrived at the prime time. Um, I remember especially, it was it was either my two-week ban or my Poma ban. I don't remember which it, which it was. But I remember this. I was playing ranked. And I think I was playing uh, AD, uh, yeah, ADC Tristana. And it was one of those late night games where all your friends were offline. You were lonely and depressed, so you solo queue. 
because you got nothing better to do, because you hate yourself. And then I get cute. I was still playing on E and E. Worst mistake of my life, by the way, playing on E and E. Fuck that region. Um, I had a top lane Soraka. I had a top lane Soraka. Uh, who had a very e girlish name, and who was just running it on purpose. She was running it on purpose. She was ruining the game on purpose. I don't know why she was doing it. She didn't say any reasons for it, but she was doing it. And me being pissed, I said, Women shouldn't play video games. Shut up, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Me saying that as a woman as I'm playing a fucking video game. <laughs> you can't make this shit up, man. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. One of us, one of us, one of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then I can't just pop up and. Oh, I also told Nasriel that he's a waste of his father's sperm. Okay, I think the Soraka got me the two week ban. And. Okay, no, no, no. The Asriel was another two week ban on a new account. I think the Soraka game, that was the perma. I think the Soraka game was the perma. Gets you kind of crazy. And I literally tried arguing with Riot support that I'm a woman, so I, I'm allowed to say it. <laughs> Holy shit, how fucking retarded I was. The most retarded argument I could have ever made. Nah. Nah. I deserve to get permat. I'm so sad that I did get permat, but I deserve to get permat. 100% deserved that. That sh shit. <laughs> but nah. Uh. Imagine kids old Xbox chat locks. I don't know. For legal reasons, everything she's saying is in game. Hashtag informed. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. All of this is just in game, in game, in game. <laughs> I wish it ended up in your mother's mouth instead of a womb, so it's kind of hard, not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm telling you. Like, League? You and E League? That, that place, that place is the worst. Anyways, as an avid player of games with horrible reputations myself, I can personally agree that while gaming is a less male-dominated space compared to 10 years ago, there's still a lot of instances of toxicity it's still mainly males. Women. Most people would agree that the phrase, Are you a girl? is spoken like a curse and anything that follows <laughs> after can't be good. It's a female! I thought the, are you a girl? Like a million times in Valorant. Holy shit. Spoken like a curse, and anything that follows after can't be. Oh, is that a speech? Get off the game and do your work with dishes, bitch. I wanted to research this, and surprisingly, oh, there was sick. actually a large number of studies done on the toxicity around girl gamers, which mostly ended up supporting these claims. For example, a study from Uppsala University found that women were actually half as likely to use in-game voice chat, while a lot of their reasoning being they wanted to hide the fact that they were a woman from their teammates in Overwatch. This was also thought to have. Actually, I do that sometimes. Like, sometimes I literally don't want to speak because I can't be asked with them knowing that I'm a woman. I literally sometimes can't be asked with them knowing that I'm a woman. It's actually true. Most of the times, I don't give a fuck. Most of the times, I don't give a fuck. But sometimes I just CBA, you know? The connection to why there were less women in esports, but that's a topic that's been covered by lots of other videos. What we are going to get into, however, is one of the more controversial opinions. Oh no. Nature. There were a good portion of the replies to the survey that pointed towards support being the more motherly role, where you're the caretaker of keeping I heard about the drilling this point. BPS safe from an I heard harm. about this Now point. listen, I know that not every girl plays support. Not every woman wants to baby their dumbass team. But let's see if there's any truth to this. Support is one of those essential roles that well I can't believe that Overwatch hasn't made a plush yet that looks like this. Like, I can't believe Overwatch has made a plush like this. I will buy this the instant it comes out. <laughs> and if you're telling me it's out, I'm buying it right now.
well, may be boring to most people, is kind of the glue that holds everything together. There seem to be a lot of I want to take care of my team and be helpful types of players, and they even went as far as to call DPS boring because it doesn't give you enough utility. Interestingly, to go along with this, a lot of women were introduced to video games and encouraged to take the support role because it's easiest to get into. While the skill ceiling of characters and roles are that's all also true. unique, I was more interested to look at the psychology. But that's uh, like going back a bit. That's also true. But that's not only for women. Like I, I know a lot of cases where, when we go in and play with someone new to whatever game, whichever one it would be, like would it be League or Overwatch, Valorant, we would go like um. Yeah, support is easy if you just want to get started and learn the basics. So, this is not only for women. While the skill ceiling of characters and roles are all pretty unique, I was more interested to look at the psychology of picking different roles. As a more manly DPS main myself, I of course like playing a more risky role that does absolutely fat damage. If you look at the support role as a whole though... You know what, I wanna, uh, while we're doing this, I wanna make a, a poll in the meantime. Or can the mods? Can you do a poll? I don't know. Mods, you can set up a poll, right? Um, what? Uh, like, what's your main role? Support, uh, DPS or tank? If the mods could set up that poll, please. Thank you. You do take on more of a multitasking and caretaker role, which, if we look at know. typical cultural differences between check. men and women, women are better at. Men often take more risk with lower rewards while women are usually on the opposite side of the spectrum. Well, when I played League of Legends, I actually played a... <laughs> um, I played... My vagina is shriveling. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just... To go along with this, women, on the other hand, are typically more empathetic, and in most instances are taught to play support IRL in their households. If we <laughs> want to see how this ties into video games, though, you need to understand something called a role congruent wait, theory. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, 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 go back, go back, go back. Um, <laughs> to go along with this, women on the other hand are typically more empathetic and in most instances are taught to play support IRL in their households. If we <laughs> want to see how this ties into video <laughs> Oh my god, women are taught... The IRL support role. Oh my god, that's the funniest shit ever. Okay, I will make the poll myself. Main role. Tank. DPS. Support. And no, you can only choose one. Start. Here you go. And choose the one you play the most, I guess. Or the one that's most fun to you. video games, though, you need to understand something called a role congruity theory. We'll call oh, it no. RCT for now. This basically states if you take a group of people and their roles fit stereotypes, the group will be more successful overall. Adversely, if someone is in a role where they stereotypically do not fit, they're discriminated against. Now, this obviously isn't always the case, and RCT seems to be getting less applicable as there are lots of women who don't play support at all and enjoy other roles for lots of different reasons. Enough of that now, though, because there's one more thing I neglected I to this. mention. Something that's a bit more sinister, and oh, no. by far the number one most common answer for why women play support. No. It's fun making grown men beg for heals. <laughs> I like the feeling that people need me or they will die. I'm a support main for the true power. I get the most OP abilities. I get to decide if my toxic teammate lives or dies. I'm in Yo. charge. Support mains are absolute psychos. Holy Not shit, only my actually. Of support players, this was by far the number one and most common answer I got on the Twitter survey. There is a huge sense of reliability on this role. Even if there you is, think support yeah. is easy, without them in most game metas, you'd be at a disadvantage. True? It seems like True? most support mains in general love the feeling of control and utility you get. They aren't necessarily picking this role to avoid toxicity, but because they enjoy the strategic nature that comes with it. Not only that, but if you shit talk a support, they can decide to subject you to the worst 50 minute league game you've ever had. And this could be considered <laughs> a valid response to the toxicity problem we talked about earlier in the video, except you're also throwing the game for the rest of your team, but let's be honest, who cares about that? Reading these inspired me to try out support more, and while it's not really for me, I do have a newfound respect for anyone that chooses that role. Thanks for watching. If you want more <laughs> videos about gaming psychology stuff, watch this video about why games think you're stupid. Hey yo! That's a good video. I liked it. I liked it a lot.